talk about understanding the source of attacks. Understanding source of attacks. There are many sources that expose you and I to be attacked. Many factors. People don't just get attacked. There are many factors that expose us and we become a slave to the oppressing spirit that attacks you and I. But today, I want to dwell on one of it majorly. One particular enemy that actually is the major enemy of attacks. Is the major enemy of attack. My prayer is that revelation will help your transformation. Revelation will help your transformation. Let's read Exodus chapter 1 verse 7 to 10. Exodus 1, 7 to 10. I don't know if we are there. I read. But the children of Israelites were fruitful and increased abundantly, multiplied and grew, grow exceedingly mighty. And the land was filled with them. Now there arose a new king over Egypt who did not know Joseph. And he said to his people, Look, these people of the children of Israelites are more and mightier than we. Come, let us deal shudry or wickedly with them. Lease they multiply. And it happened in the eve of war that they also join our enemies and fight against us and so go up out of the land. This is an event that took place in the life of the Israelites. By the time the Israelites was going to see or stay in Egypt, they were given a city called Goshen City, courtesy of their brother Joseph, who the Lord sent on a mission to preserve Israel. He reigned in his time, and when he finished his time, he passed on to be with the Lord. And there came blessings that was notable, like I read, abundantly mighty things, exceeding things, things that even the Egyptians, who were the real owner of the land, did not have. They multiply in their crops, they multiply in their fruit of their womb, they multiply in so many things until they became a concern to the new king who never had an opportunity to meet Joseph. Now, the, 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 the tragic thing is that Joseph helped Egypt to become what they became at the time of great famine. He helped them to rise and become a center of civilization. But you see, when you want to deal with an attacking period, the real reasons why the enemy will always have a way of fighting you and I or we always have an assignment against you and I is what we want to talk about today because many of us we have sat down and asked ourselves some weird questions like why am I being fought why is this thing happening to me is it that God does not love me is there something I have done wrong so that I can undo it if I have sinned can God reveal to me so that I can repent but by this teaching, you will realize your question. Your question will be made open to you. That's why I am just going to talk about one of it because of time and I want you to get it and understand it. One source of attack in everyone's life, one source of attack and a major source in everyone's life is evil reporters. Evil reporters. Evil reporters. There is no power on this earth and even in the heavenlies that will just start to attack you except there is an evil reporter. If there is no evil reporter, you won't be recognized or pursued or being attacked. The arch enemy of your attack is the evil reporter. Who is an evil reporter? Somebody who takes you to go and make emphasis to report you in a particular matter according to them. They are not going to report you according to you. They are going to report you according to them. Because if they report according to you, it will be to your favor. No one will want to kill himself and judge himself to die. The evil reporters, these are personalities, both visible and invisible. If you remember something that the heavens, the angels said, they said, woe unto man, for the accuser of the brethren has been what? Thrown to the earth. There is an accuser of the brethren. 
accuser of the brethren. He said when Satan was being with God, he had one major assignment that started doing. He started accusing you and I. He started making God to feel like we are not appreciating him. He started bringing problems between and God. If you remember the reason why God allowed Satan to attack Job was because Job accused, Satan was accusing God about Job. And God needed to clarify himself because God is a just God. It's not like God wanted to punish Job. No one will take a, a knife and kill the child because they want to test the child. But Satan went right before God and accused him and say, you have put an edge of protection over Job. And also, you have made him secure in you. And the Lord said, all things are the sign of my love. If you feel like the love is a problem to you, let me remove it so that you can try him without my love. And he did dangerously fought Job. Until that happened in the realm of the spirit, Job's life was going on smoothly in his family, in his business, and to the community they were benefiting to the blessings in life of Job until a reporter reported him against. God was just being incited, trying to appreciate the goodness and the loyalty of Job, but said to it an advantage to lay an accusation. Who is reporting you? Who has has made your life a pain? Who has taken your life as a project? Who is that man, that woman who has reaped themselves food and drinks? and sleep just to bring you down. If you still remember, Paul experienced the same thing. A certain group of people said they will never eat nor drink until they kill him because they accused him of bringing a strange God into their territory. And they said in one accord, we will not eat, we will not drink, we have only one agenda while we are living, whether life or death. The head of Paul must be beheaded. They lay wait and strategy points looking and seeking for the life of Paul. He took the hand of God by divine intervention for Paul to prevail over the attack of these principalities and powers in human form. Even Jesus Christ, the Bible says, anytime Jesus was ministering to the people who were listening to him, the Pharisees and the Sadducees were always present, trying to pick one thing or the other from the ministration of Jesus Christ. So that they will use it as an accusation. And if you look at the level of charges they charged against Jesus Christ that made them to kill him, was all accusation. They had no evidence of their accusation. They just reported evil reports against him. They took him to all the province kings and say he called himself a god. He calls himself a king. He called himself a son of God. And yet in the Old Testament it was written that ye are gods. Ye are the children of the most high God. What were the Pharisees and the Sadducees preaching if they did not believe they were children of God? But they believe in the prophets. They believe the time of the prophets and they honor the prophets. And these same prophets prophesy the coming and the life of Jesus. The children of Israelites were okay until a man who came and went and do what we call a spiritual survey and physical survey. This person took time to see the increase to record and keep account of the transformation of blessings that has been installed in the life of the children of Israel. When he finished it, he quit an accusation and said, if we allow these people to have peace, they will turn against us. They will become friends to our enemy. The moment that was said, if you read verse 11, there was a tax master that was released against the Israelites. That is where their misery started from. That is where their pain started from. Go and look at the issue of Mordecai and the issue of Haman. You will realize that Haman was continually trying everything to make the king despise and hate Mordecai. He tried everything. Let me tell you also, Vashti was removed in the throne because somebody reported her arrogance to the king. If the prophet or the servant or the one who ministers to Vashti already knows the rules 
of engagement in the kingdom of the king. He knows or she knows that if she takes the word exact of Vashlin to the king, she will be removed because she has violated the king. But nevertheless, they took it to him and Vashli was removed. Evil reporters are the enemy of our destiny. They are the enemy of our glory. They are the enemy of our prosperity. They are the enemy of our rising evil reporters. They are the source of all attacks that we are exposed to. That's why you see people try to know too much. People who does not really play roles, they don't play any major in your life, but they are so interested to know things that are personal. You see, if somebody is, is very helpful, if I am supporting you in your journey of life or I am a lending hand and you can see my genuineness and love towards your growth, you see, that's different. But someone who you, you can even see see they are never there they are always wanting to be there when they want to get something from you they just want to know your steps evil reporter what are the things that drive evil reporters why do evil reporters report what are the things that make them to come issue i will list only three because of time number one jealousy when people begin to report you and begin to report you you know she did this she did that i want her to die i want her to do this i want her to do that i want her. they always want to report you negative something called the spirit of jealousy and step into that person when when you become jealous is because you are becoming uncomfortable with someone right more than you. When you realize that if you see people who you feel, you know it is personal judgments. According to you, you have believed that these people cannot be anything better than you. You believe that you are the one who is idiot. You are the one who God has blessed and nobody else should be better than you. You should be the one who is in the aim of the affair. So when you are not in that aim of affair, you be begin to jealous. You begin to feel like that person is doing more than themselves. You begin to feel raged of jealousy. And when that jealousy begins to pile, it will begin to make you to become a fault finder. You begin to find fault. You begin to... Those are the faults that you will gather to report in order to attack someone. Jealousy is not a clean spirit. Jealousy is the reason why Satan was thrown away from the kingdom of God. Jealousy is the reason why Satan deceived Adam and Eve. Jealousy is the reason why Satan has said, I will not allow humanity to have peace. Jealousy is the reason why he is a roaring lion and yet is a lion. Jealousy is a driving force that destroys people. So once somebody begins to not jealous, if you are not careful, people will report you. If they have any power at all, if they are connected to any power source, they will have nothing else to do than to go report to their power source because they will go and make that power source to bring you down. Imagine how do you go and say because people are being blessed, you are not seeing the, the, the tithes, the, 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 what they are even contributing to the Egyptians. You are only bringing evil imagination in order to do what? To take away their belongings. In order to steal from them. In order to kill them from being multiplied. In order to reduce their strength of abundance. You came up with a report against. Them. Another thing that makes people to report is envy. Envy is the worst. Envy dries the blood. When people envy you, it is already, they begin to compete with you. You know, jealousy, they cannot do anything but to jealousy because may, they might not have what it takes. But envy brings rivalry and strife. They begin to rival with you and strive with you. If you buy this kind of Bible, they will buy a higher one and make you know that they have bought it. They just want to prove a point to you that no matter how you think you are going to be successful, you can't be as successful as them. They try everything to downgrade everything you have and everything around you. To the point that you can begin to even feel inferior in the presence of this entity. Many Christians are doing this without knowing that they accommodate a spirit destruction. Another spirit that makes people attack us or report us is the spirit of hatred. Hatred. When people have so much hatred towards you, they become irritated. 
around you. They will begin to think of how to eliminate you. They will begin to think on how to dispose you because anytime you are there, they can't be happy. Whether you are eating or not, whether you are hungry or not, they just feel like once you come in, you cover their glory. They just feel that the moment you are in a place and they are in that same place, they can no longer shine because of you. They see you as a threat that quenches their light. And yet the earth is big enough to accommodate all light to shine. As a matter of fact, when there are different light, the earth is more beautiful. Did you not see the clip of what did first of this year? That clip was very beautiful because everyone had the light on. But a hater does not want your light at all because a hater has the mind that you are a threat to their personality. So when you are there, they say, ah, he has come. She has come. They are looking for an exit point. If they were happy at your arrival, their tongue will be cleaved onto their mouth. They will no longer, if they were the one who was cracking joke, the joke will disappear from them. The only thing they are thinking, they will begin to say, let's go, let's go. And we are going to do this and we are coming back. They, they just want to get out of you because the hatred is too much that they cannot accommodate being irritated beyond measure. These are the three things that make up someone to be a reporter. They will now come up and say, what can we do? So that we will stop seeing, maybe you are buying, you are, you, you are getting more finer, your marriage is so peaceful, your children are doing well, you are getting promotion in your job. This three personality, once they realize that these good things are happening in your life, the next thing they will set to do, if they belong to any societies, be it spirit or governmental, they will now use it and take you in that place. They will now go and report to the people. They will go and report. That is how they operate. Once they are consumed by their jealousy, they are consumed by their hatred, they are consumed by the envy, they will be looking for evil access. Even some of them that does not have will begin to look for those who have to take them to. They will begin to look for people. They will begin to hunt. They will tell you, I have a problem. Do you know my elder sister? Hey, she cannot be happy. Every time my husband, my husband, my husband, is she the only one who is married? Please, I want to teach her a lesson. Do you know any? They will be introduced. They will take some. And before you know it, the elder sister who was doing well will begin to have issues. Will begin to have life. Will begin to turn upside down. And you will think some from a distance is the cause of your problem. There is an evil reporter that is employed as spirit to help them to make you or life uncomfortable for you. This is why they are there. Demons will not come to you except there is sin about you that is pulling them to you. If there is nothing around that magnet demons, they will never come. And moreover, if they come, they will not be able to attack you the way you have been attacked. If they wear, maybe you wear dresses that exposes you. That spirit of seduction will follow you just to use you to entice people. If you give it attention and somebody take advantage of it and lay it on you, that's when it destroys you because there is an extra force an interest that was introduced to the spirit. Where do these people report us to? Where do the re evil reporters report us? Number one place they report the children of God. Evil authors. When an evil reporter who wants to achieve something negatively in your life wants to fight you, the first place they will go to is an evil altar. An evil altar is where they do things to manipulate someone's destiny to favor another person. An evil altar. They manipulate. They go there and tell them, this is me. They check your destiny. They realize that your destiny has been mortgaged, has no value. They see your elder sister has value. They pick the destiny of your elder sister and give it to you and command that you walk in the light of your elder sister's glory and command your elder sister to be caged and her life to be suspended in the spirit not to become anything at all so that person will keep existing but will never progress will never progress evil altar they report us in an evil where they use it as an oppressing measure to press to capture to arrest to hinder many of of us, this is where we have been captured, we have been arrested, we have been hindered. So you are still fighting and asking God question and God yes, he gave it unknown to you some inherited by using an evil method, by using evil method to take it. Another place the evil authors, the evil reporters will report someone is kingdom of darkness. Kingdom of darkness. 
kingdom of darkness is where you buy spirits. You employ demons. You see, altars is a place of worship, whether be it evil or good place of worship. But somebody attends to that place and owns it. Altars are owned by people. It can be altar owned by one witch dog. It can be altar owned by community. I don't know if it happens here where they say a set tree should not be cut because that tree is within that territory or that tree is worshipped by something. You see, that's an altar that they have erected either as a family or as a community or as a, or as a individual but the kingdom of darkness is where all kind of entity dwells they thrive in wickedness they thrive in doing they are like spiritual agents which you come you will see spirit of stealing you will see spirit of fighting you will see spirit of act. so many kind of things depression spirit of sickness torment spirit of you know all kinds of spirit is assembled in that kingdom of darkness they are all represented so when you want to the reporter want to report you to the kingdom of darkness they will go and say i need a spirit of poverty to rest upon this sister of mine so the kingdom of darkness we go to the department of poverty and release the spirit of poverty that spirit can be laziness that spirit can be slumbering spirit confusing spirit you know there are many things that lead to poverty it can be that you do business and you never prosper. So your business, they will send you that spirit. It could be spirit of difficulty. Spirit that you are saying yes, but people hear no. It's called, you are telling them yes, but they hear no. Because there is a spirit that has been employed by your reporter. Your reporter has already studied you. They know where you are prospering. They know where your life is increasing. So they will go with that and say, this is my sister. She is so happy in her marriage. I know need you to give me the spirit of confusion and fighting misunderstanding quarreling spirits which of them they think they can do the job well in the kingdom of darkness will be released so when you are asleep they will call your name 10 times or 7 times or 3 times or 14 times or 21 times and command that spirit to enter inside of you so you will wake up and you feel like this you think it, you are just okay you don't know that a certain spirit has made experience press entrance after that thing happened to you you feel some headache or some tiredness or you feel like something you even stretch so that the spirit will take position very well without your knowledge then once that is done on your bed there you are like this is my husband is an idiot the spirit has started or a dispatching spirit that was employed by a reporter from the kingdom of darkness they have all sort of variety. If it is sickness, they say, they, the reporter can say, this my brother has so much money. I want to scatter his wealth. And they will ask him, what can we use to scatter his wealth? Is he a womanizer? He say no. Is he a drunkard? He say no. He say, okay, let's give him sickness. They will look for cancer. They will look for HIV. They will look for different kind of terminal disease that <laughs> they will just help. They will just call it. Let's use cancer as a case study. They will say, cancer, where are you? This woman has brought a case for us. This man is very rich and we want to make sure his life is miserable. All his wealth, let him begin to withdraw it to find solution to cure cancer. But this cancer you will never leave. It is binded unto death. This cancer, he will finish his money and die. Or this cancer Answer, or after you have scattered his money, come back home to the kingdom of darkness. So suddenly you see somebody who is all just okay. And before you know, they will be doing you wing wing. Before you can look two times, they will tell you you have cancer. You start treating it. You start treating it. Before you know you are traveling to India. Before you know you are doing chemotherapy. Before you know E, B, C, D. Many, many things. You have removed 10 million in your account. Your account will keep going. Keep going down. Keep going down. At the time minute of spending the last if some of them you will sell your house you will sell your properties you will sell is remaining small for you to even sell your children because there is a spirit that has come to report you our evil reporter has come to report you to say if we leave this man he will be so prosperous so let's use cancer to scatter all his finance this man will be feeling place to place hospital to hospital pastors to pastors ritualists to ritualists until the cancer achieves the assignment if the assignment is to destroy 
destroy the finance and come back, he will destroy the finance and leave the man incapacitated. You know the way you leave somebody, they can no longer mingle with people. They are already semi-dead. Or he says, kill him and return. So that man will spend his last cobble at the time of many other stories goes. Why some people, they don't even need this. They will say, my brother, he's just showing himself. Do you know he will come around, give us 10 million, give us 5 million. When he is he the only one who makes money? We want you, kingdom of darkness, to give us a spirit of waster, to waste his finance. They will say, what does he do? He's a business tycoon. He import and export. Okay, give us the what he imports. The same thing you have been importing that has us. You will import again. The company will make mistake and pack for you something that is yet having factory fault. By the time you do your first importation, you will lose two million. You do your exportation, you will lose two million. Every time you transact again, it, instead of you making gain, you make loss. Instead of you making gain, you make loss. You will begin to say, what is happening? I am good in this business. In fact, the people I train are doing well. You say, okay, let me look for people with partner. The moments you look for people, for let money do it, it fall again. You begin to fall into what? Indebtedness and problem. A spirit of waste. We waste all your time. All the money you have gathered for many years. Within a tinkle of one year, it will be perished with no reasonable reason for you to justify. Some people will even think you have done something they don't know that is an evil reporter that has reported you to a kingdom of darkness. And that kingdom has employed a spirit to manage and bring you down according to the expectation of the evil reporter. Number three, rulers and powers. Another place where you are reported by evil reporter is rulers and powers rulers and power. You know, it's not everybody you can summon their spirit. There are some people that they have been able, by God's grace, they are shielded individually. So you cannot put an evil spirit inside of them that is capable to scatter them. And you cannot put an evil spirit inside the work of their hand. Remember the Bible said to Abraham, in blessing, I will bless you. So, and anyone who brings problem to you when I bless you, I curse. God also said those things to David. I have blessed you and anyone you bless is blessed and anyone you curse is cursed. Such kind of entity when they have worked with God and God has preserved them and preserved their children, those children when you take them to evil altar, when you take them to evil kingdom, it will not work for you. So what you do, those reporters will do, they will take you to rulers and powers. What does rulers and powers do? These are territorial government. I hope I'm not too deep for you guys. You see, many questions is what I'm answering. Many of you have been asking. This is it. This is the strategy that this enemy has been using. So, rulers and powers, these are territorial government. If they cannot stop your business, they can collapse your territory. Any business you are doing will not prosper in that territory. Because they will put what we call spiritual blanket or evil cloud. Your business will be there, but people don't see it. People cannot see it. It is not visible to humans. Because there is a spirit that has covered it. An evil blanket. Or they will decide to put something that is not appealing to the eyes. They can put maggots in your business in that territory. Nobody goes to a place where there is maggot. They can choose to put a grave upon your business because they are territorial ruler and they have power over that domineering environment. So no matter what you try to do, there is, the Bible call it the four horns. The force that has oppressed Israel, that they cannot lift up their head. These are territorial powers and rulers. They will just come and tell you, go three junction, go to two junction, go to roundabout. In this particular area where that person live and make this sacrifice and put it there. All the spirit in that environment will correspond against you. They will put a siege over your business. They will put the people will be passing your shop. You will be looking at them. They will just, they won't even look at you. Even some of them, you know them. They will not even tell you how are you. But when they see you outside your shop in another environment, they embrace you. They ask you, Aki, do you still have a shop? And you're telling, but I saw you last week here. Really? I didn't see you. <laughs> hey, may God help us in Jesus' name. Evil they use rulers and powers 
to attack, to hinder, to stop, to subdue whatever you are doing. As long as they know that you are in that territory, they will pick a sword. Let's assume when you are you are prosperous and you live in Karen, and your attackers already know that you are living in Karen. When they go and try to use up, you are already under a, an altar and they can't get you. They try to scatter your seed, which is your time, your sacrifice has not allowed them to finish you. They will now go to the rulers. In that environment, probably you don't have anyone who speaks over you in that territory. They will pack the sun and lay hooks upon that and say, as long as this person lives in this environment, whatever she will have, whatever he will have, let her or him lose everything. He will live here empty. He will live here in pain and repro tears will be his food in the morning, in the night, and the noon. Nothing good will establish in that person's life. They will take it and spread it back to that territory. As long as you remain there and you won't know. And the one thing you will use to know that the environment you have been check it. You were full of life when you came in there, for instance. And suddenly, the only successful thing is what gives you tears. The only successful thing is what brings pain to you. Anything that you will do to come out of that pain does not happen. And do you know the funny part? You will be so weak that you can't even leave that environment. Let me give it another look so that you can understand me. Have you ever packed into a farm, a house? You enter that house with a car, but you left with your foot. You even sold everything you came with because you could not even meet up with business areas. And in the end of the day, they will end up taking your property your chair, your bed, everything, and you will be escorted. That is, you will even be begging them, please, don't do that. Let me still look for money. You don't know that it is not you. It is rulers and powers. They have tied you in that environment. Are you understanding? They have kept you there. And as long as you remain there, there is nothing you can do to change any breakthrough in your life. This is what they ask are good in staging against us. Because of time. Number four, where the evil reporters report you and I. The author of God. Evil reporters can report you to the other God because God is a just God. And anyone who disobey the laws and guidance is entitled to punishment. So when the enemy realize, they can go to God in prayer and say, this person has offended me. This person has taken what belongs to me. And if they have a Lego ground that you did it, God will give them justice. <laughs> You don't like this one. Cain and Abel. Abel reported Cain to the altar of God. Not Satan. See what my brother has done to me. Avenge for me. He avenged. He, Elisha and Elijah walked so closely. And Elijah, because of Elisha serving Elijah, he had a bar hair. And a day came, children mock at him and say, Elijah bar hair. And he cried to God. This is my sacrifice of sin. Arise. And bear came out. The king of Assyria send 50 men to go and capture him and bring him to disgrace him. And he said to the captain, if I be a man of God in whom I stand and I serve, let fire fall. Fire fell. Hey, I'm sorry. What is that real? Is that real? You can be reported to the altar of God and God will honor the report. That is why God says we should be just. Never do wickedness because power is in your hand. Because the power, everything you plant, you are entitled to reap. That's why you don't have the right to manipulate anyone. You don't have the right to do people evil and think because you speak in tongues, <laughs> you are okay. No. You know, here the Bible says that even we who are the preacher, our own punishment will be higher because we know the truth and we decide to turn out of it. So when you know these truths, it will help you to be very mindful because you can be reported to your own God. You can be reported. That's why dwell with all men peace Fully. Never do evil to people because you feel you are a Christian or because you have access to God. Do you know this is more fun in marriage? Have you not asked yourself <laughs> you are a prayerful brother or a prayerful sister because women are more inclined with God. You pray so well but you satisfy your husband. You will tell your husband, I, 
cannot have time for you. You do it regularly and you know you are using it as a strategy to separate yourself from maybe because he drinks, he has offended you and your heart is full of you don't know how to deal with it or to come out of the bitterness. Your husband goes and carry him. He will think God would have strike him with thunder and yet God will give him a beautiful a very, and you go back to pray and God will be telling you you are not normal. Did I not say in the Bible, be benevolent give without reserve and if there is any reason why you should not give sit down and about it so when the man is saying he's fasting for 70 days if the wife go back and tell god this fasting my husband is fasting may you not hear him look at what he has done for me the paul even advised men he said dwell peaceful with your wife so that they will not hinder your prayer that you have not read it in the bible it is there you are busy praying for the growth of the family <laughs> for his blessing and your blessing and he's telling god that prayer always always do not go it is scattering. And God will have the place in Christianity that we ought to live a bad. What God has given to you and I is love. And when we lack that love, we accommodate hatred. And anything you do out of hatred, bitterness, and jealousy automatically is a seed of wickedness. And God will judge it. Never allow people to make you to become what you are not. Never. No matter how they treat you, if they treat you the way you felt so sad, allow yourself to heal. When you have healed, move on with life. Because these little things I keep repeating here, some of you will be wondering, why is it that maybe most pastors don't talk about it? But I am saying about because what God me to do is to rescue souls. And if souls must be rescued, truth must be told to them so that they can practice it. And I tell you this, I hide not. If all the things I have been telling you about living a joyous life, take away anger, bitterness, hatred, and you from you. If you do it and you live a joyful life, I am telling you, if you close your eyes in glory, you miss God. Why? Because righteousness, peace, joy in the Holy Ghost. Don't you want to be part of his kingdom? He did not say hatred, jealousy, envy. Don't you want to be in that place? Did you see that one? It is, it is righteous people. It is peace people. It is joy. So if you don't want to be taken to an accusation, it is better you do everything with moderate, everything with wisdom, everything that will help you to become what you ought to be. Another person they report us to is authority, physical authority. Evil reporters, those who are not practice of evil, they don't practice witchcrafty, they don't practice occultism, they don't practice all those evil things. They will only have English knowledge. They will go and report you to physical authorities. Some of them can go and tip the police and say you are a this and they know quite well you are not. But they want to give you distress. They want to tarnish your image because the moment your image is tarnished, people will be divided. Some people will accept, some people will disagree. But the point is that you will no longer have 100%. You will have 50-50. So they will go and report you to an authority so that, you see, authorities work more fast when they have someone who tells them confidentially, this person is evil. They will ask you, how did you know? Ah, I live with her. I have been around her. I have done this, so I am very sure this person is evil. They will go in swift to go find out for sure. And for them to find out, embarrassment will come. Maltreating will come. Because they want to, because they have a first-hand information. So they will not understand why your life not still in the information they were giving. Before you will be able to justify yourself, there was there will be a, a physical damage that would have been done in your reputation. And even when they realize that you have not done anything wrong and you were just no police pass come up there and say she was falsely accused. He, he was falsely accused. They will settle you in court and you will settle with that. The damage has already been done. The damage has already been done. So they will look for an authority to report you. Some of them, they will report you to your parents. Some of them, they will report you to your husband. Some of them, they will report you to your helper. They already know that maybe I'm the one helping you. You have told them. Ah, if not prophetess Justina, my life will be over. They will come and repeat that woman the way she talks bad about you. Prophet, be careful. And you know how you will be so surprised. You know they are friends. And he's telling you how she talks bad about you. I'm telling you, be careful. It's because I feel it is not right. So I am helping you. Don't be deceived. And I was the one paying your school fees. Before you know, I will say, <laughs> I have some financial issue. I can no longer continue. What have they done? They have taken away the source 
of livelihood for you. They can decide to go report your husband. Hey, I have three different women in three weeks. There is a particular hotel they go to. And probably your husband even told you they have seminars for three weeks. But because your friend is the one who told you, you will not remember that seminar story. Your husband even told you the hotel where they are doing the seminar. And he even gave you the letter. But you see, when somebody comes with a report, you want to believe that they are caring for you and they are trying to protect you. You dive into action. You start fighting with man. At the end of the day, you will find out that all those things were lies. By the time you are finding out your husband has already felt distrust, he has already felt he can no longer accommodate with you because he can't believe you could lie on him. The damage is already done. These are their strategies. Evil reporters. They are very good in choosing a place to destroy you. Many marriages has broken because someone reported you. Someone reported you. Many things have destroyed. Even as I'm talking now, some of you, you are realizing some things that has happened in your life and you have seen the dot and say, no one, no one that things is like this. Because this is their strategy. Don't forget that we are not understanding the source of attacks. My brothers and sisters, this is reality that we have found ourselves on the planet Earth. Revelation we have. So be very sure of life. Stop living carelessly. Living careless. When people rival with you for no reason, be full of them. When people show you hatred and turn back to show you love, wait, watch them very carefully. When suddenly people begin to compare you, eh, she thinks she's everything you do is not good. Be careful because you don't know where they are coming. Men fall in prey of this evil rape. And our life in attack, the progress of our destiny have been attacked, and we are struggling with life. But my prayer for you is this. That the Lord who has given you this revelation, may he give you deliverance. May he give you deliverance. May he set you free from the oppressors. May he set you free from your attackers. May he give you the grace to overcome your reporters. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ.